as I was writing in my blog, uh, today is my, um, I am kind of challenging, my, my first week challenge is about dissecting um, a recipe. So today it's about a real prodigious nux, you all know the, the famous brand nux, which is making um, um, very nice and shiny oil. And so in my blog, um, Francis uh, Organic secrets.com you will find all the, the dissection of these um, of the, these ingredients and I'm offering you I'm sharing with you the almost the same recipe but with all natural and organic ingredients so here we are what we will need is of course a bowl to make all your mixing tablespoon teaspoon recycled bottle or mine is a, is a black bottle because it's protecting from the, from the, from the light and so it's a, a way to preserve your, um, your preparation. Then you will need vegetal glycerin, which is natural actually. Okay, then macadamia uh, oil, everything is organic here, um, hazelnut oil. Then you have choice between olive oil or sunflower oil. Choose one or the other. Usually, we have olive oil in uh, in our kitchen. Uh, then we need um, we need carrot oil, and we need uh, sweet almond oil. Then we need coconut oil, which is uh, this one I have made by myself. So that's a lot of fun. I will probably share the recipe, the way to do it with you. Then we will need. Um, hmm, I would like to put that one, but I didn't put that in my recipe. Geranium, geranium, bourbon geranium, and uh, you know what? I I won't do it this time, but I love the um, the sweet um, bitter almond. Uh, it's smelling really like marzipan. You know, it's just it's a candy. Uh, then benzoin. Benzoin is um, absolute. It's not a, an essential oil. That it is used by uh, all the perfumers and uh, for example in Chanel, Yves Saint Laurent, uh, Prada and Guerlain that's the um, four, four one I, I remember are putting in, in a lot of their it's, it's a base uh, for, for fragrances, for perfumes then to preserve we will need um, uh, grapefruit seed extract, always the same, it's full of vitamin E and vitamin C, but totally natural. And then we need mica. Mica um, mineral powder is what, what will give you the shiny part. So you have choice between the goldish one or the brownish. This one is called hazelnut uh, shimmery. And I will show you the difference between one and I take the other finger so I'm not and the other so depending on, on your skin tone you will use one or the other or you can mix but if you don't want to buy both so you see how shiny we, will, we won't use it pure but uh, but that's uh, how it will it look like it looks like sorry then we will need a vanilla pot and I will show you how to prepare it you just Cut, and that you, you can keep it to put in your in your um, pastries when you are cooking. Then don't forget to open all your all your pod. Really open it, and you can see all the seeds inside, and it's kind of revealing all the flavor. And we will actually leave that in your preparation in your mix, so it will. Uh, day after day, it will keep the, the, the flavor and it will kind of um, be more and more, it will be richer in, in this flavor. And you can keep it from one time to another. Um, so he did the same. sliced it pretty well. Okay, so you open it and that's pretty it. Then you put that in your bottle. Oopsie. And you keep your bottle. For later. Okay, so now what we will need is for the glycerin six tablespoons. So let's go for 
Let's take the macadamia. Six uh, tablespoons, two, so one, two, three, and six. Actually, you can check on my blog to have all the information about what is uh, macadamia good for, for your skin. For. Okay, so now, hazelnut. Uh, let's see, hazelnut. I'm looking at my recipe because I don't remember, you know. That's a teaspoon, so let's take that. that if you don't have it at home, you can find that in Whole Food or whatever kind of uh, organic grocery store. Uh, then sunflower, sunflower, one teaspoon. Violet, it's full of carotene, so that's great to put in um, in body oil because you know if you have if you're wearing a short uh, short skirt or shorts, then you protect your skin in the same way. Okay, now sweet almond oil, sweet almond oil, that's a teaspoon again, and you can find all, all the proportions in. Um, Okay, so mine is liquid because it's pretty hot in here for the moment. Um, so it could happen that it is turning to be a little bit harder when uh, during the summer. The, the, sorry, during the winter. Okay, oh, it's smelling so good. Oh. That's really well perfumating. Okay, so I choose some. Um, let's see. I would choose the gold one. Like it a lot. I know that it's very, very nice on my uh, on my skin tone. And let's take them just to be sure that you don't put too much. Okay. Oops. Get it. Mix that. We mix everything together. It's very easy actually, and a lot of fun. And I will show you. How it looks like. It's just wow. That's beautiful. And when you spray that on your skin, then you it's not as concentrated as it is here. Okay. Then we need to put them um, okay. Grapefruit seed extract 20 drops is a drop, sorry. Okay. 
okay, it's it's kind of thick uh, because it's oily, it's it's very thick, so it's not coming very easily. And then geranium, geranium is giving, giving a nice flowery flavor and it's uh, helping to treat the, the skin and uh, for the geranium, uh, five drops. Okay. Of course you can choose to mix with other, for example, I like the Ilang Ilang or Jasmine, but uh, this one is a very good base and it is kind of helping the vanilla to enhance so that's great. For me, it's, it's the perfect. Uh, it is the perfect mix. Uh, okay, then you will need a fennel, your bottle, and here we are. Oh, I forgot. I, I wanted to show you how it looks like. I don't know if you can see. Let me come in closer. Let's see. Okay, and I will show you that on, on, my, on my skin. So it's really, it's not a bit thick, it's just perfect. So it's, it's um, oh, I have a lot of, uh, I have a lot of things going on here. Okay, so it's, it's giving a nice shiny um, part. Yeah. Here is the light. You don't need to put that much, but it's getting because I, I choose very uh, thin um, oil and it's part of the recipe too. But it's funny, the, the reason why I chose that recipe to dissect was because I was doing, and I, I just discovered, I was doing almost the same for years, many, many years. And so I decided to begin with that one. Okay, so here it is for, uh, for uh, how it looks like. And now we just need to transfer and because it's a little bit thick with the glycerin and uh, it takes some time so for that reason you will need a lid and not a pump or a spray because it won't get through uh, you will kind of clog your, your pump if you use it at dry so that's the reason why even Nux is, um, is uh, setting with, without a spray and um, okay you can imagine how it is here so now we, don't, we didn't put a lot of preservatives and it's uh, really natural so the best way is to use it pretty fast uh, or to keep it on, on the fridge each time you want to use it of course don't forget to shake First of all, it will mix with the vanilla, so it will kind of uh, give all the vanilla flavor to your oil and secondly, your mica, your mineral powder will get through all the, the liquid. So that was my first sweet challenge uh, of 52 recipe uh, for the, the shiny and glittering uh, oil. Hope to see you next week for my next challenge. Bye bye!